Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and unfortunately, unfortunately, it's sad to see, but the streak is looking pretty bleak. We're going to play it as Samson this time around. Uh, just jump in and see what we can get done. We've got a good few marks to do as him. Um, and then I think after this run, I'm going to do a few greed mode things. Um, but I think we'll try and do mother on this run. Um, we'll have a little look-see. Uh, that's pretty good. We get plus five bombs and um, grants explosion immunity, allows you to throw your own bombs into placing them. Explosive immunity is pretty darn good. The throwing your own bombs thing is weird. Oh, also our character looks kind of funky here. I kind of like the idea of throwing your own bombs. Um, I tend to like um, like batting them away from myself anyway, so I feel like that'll be pretty darn useful. Um, got hit already. It is fine. Do not fret. Do not worry. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with this as a starting item. You can't hurt me, big boy. You can't hurt me. Oh, explosion immunity. Pretty lovely. Um, I like that a lot. Explosive immunity, something that's pretty highly sought after on a run, because just there's many enemies that can do it, and many items that you can get that can cause a lot of pain if you have explosives going on. Hopefully we'll get something that synergizes with this somewhat, potentially a bomb upgrade or like Dr. Fetus or something. Obviously that's very wishful thinking, but... Um, I can dream. I can dream. <clears throat> As for the question of the day, what is your favorite YouTube video? In terms of, like, what's a video that you just always come back to and you've watched multiple times? Definitely a tricky question. Honestly, one that I don't even know if I can properly answer myself. Am I going to get hurt there? No. Yeah. Um, yeah, one that I don't even know if I can answer myself, but that's so, that's so useful, that is. But still, I think it's an interesting one. It'd be cool to see, like, the different answers that people have. Okay, actually a pretty easy boss for us here. If only he'd let me get in there rather than his flies. Ooh, hello, a burn heart, you say. A little burn heart. That is unusual, but lovely. Gimme, gimme. And plus two range. Okay, that's pretty decent. Um, And yeah, I think we'll just go down to the next floor. We don't have a key, unfortunately. So if we are going to do mother, we'll have to try and do that on the next floor if we get multiple keys. If not, we'll just go for a different boss. It's not... A too big of a rush. Um, it'd be potentially nice to do Hush and Bosch Rush if we're in time for that. Um, I don't know if we will be. We do luckily have one um, one protection from uh, losing our Devil Deal here with our Burn Heart. I believe breaking a Burn Heart doesn't get rid of your Devil Deal chance. So we do have a little bit of protection there. But yeah, hopefully we don't get any super long rooms. But I'm actually pretty enthused to play Isaac today. Uh, I don't know why I've just woke up in a good mood for it. Um, I mean, it's my sister's graduation today and we went out for my dad's 50th birthday last night and had just a really good time. Um, so I'm in a good mood generally. Okay, this is slightly awkward of a room. In fact, this is an actually awful room, but I can throw my bomb over there now and I get myself this, which is damage and tears per shot speed down. That is the best trade deal ever. I love the fact that there's, like, new small rocks, essentially. I really hate this. I really, really hate this. I'm definitely going to lose my burn heart to this guy. Okay, we got him. Oh my god. That enemy's an absolute pain. But being able to throw my bomb like that? God damn. So goddamn useful. Do not like the look of this room. Yep. Okay, good. That guy was not nearly as annoying as I thought he was going to be. The speed at which they move... Um, with all the, all that webbing was, was quite worrying to me. Take out the red boys first, because they're going to cause us the most issue. I'll throw a bomb over here as well. But also, being able to throw a bomb's further, like behind rocks, is nice. 20% chance to get an extra item charge on clearing a room. All batteries are turned into bombs. Uh, that's kind of interesting. I like the idea. I mean, honestly, I, um, as long as it's bombs that I can pick up and use, I'm actually kind of happy with that while I don't have an active. Um, obviously we're not going to get tons of battery drops, but the 20% charge to, to get an extra charge when clearing a room is pretty darn good. Imagine that paired with the shop item that does the same effect. Um, we will also grab this. Honestly, being able to throw them is so, so nice. I really, really, really like that. Cleaned up all the white spiders. So we won't open that yet until we get another key. Got a few extra bombs there. I like to see that. But hopefully we will get an extra key here. Got a few beaters here. Yeah, I kind of expected that to happen. Hoping I don't lose my burn heart here, but 
if I do, it is what it is. Another rather annoying room here. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I was just hoping I could get the soul heart before they touched me. This guy's going to split into two more enemies, which I do not like the look of. Oh, that was close. Okay, that wasn't so bad at all, actually. I don't think I've ever seen one of those egg sacs turn into a Bernie before. New to me. Hey, Bernie. I'm not liking all the webbing here. The webbing is making things more troubling than it had to be. We're good, we're good. Uh, we did get Red Heart as well there, so now we can go back to our item room comfortably. That makes me very happy. And we'll get something that works with our explosive power. I'd very much like that. Um, do you know what? Dirty Mind? I actually can't believe Dirty Mind's a quality one. Like, that is baffling to me. I'd, I'd say that Dirty Mind can be a, as good as quality three. It's, most runs I'd say it's probably quality two, but some runs it can really, like, pop off. Oh, that was... This is a really frustrating room. Also, like, for example, this room. Normally, this poop wouldn't be here, but it was, and so I get access to this. Unfortunately, that access isn't actually that valuable to us, but still. You can do stuff like that. You can replace rocks with poop. Uh, like, it's not super common, but it's, it's reasonably common. I think overall, it's a, it's a fun item. It's got a lot of use. Gives you a lot of protection as well, uh, if you get a good dip army created. You've got a lot of protection from shots and stuff. And they can do some pretty good damage as well. If they manage to, like, if an enemy manages to, like, spawn under them sort of thing. There you go, got a few poops here. See you there. Got him to move, good. Much better position to, to kill him in. Good, good, and we're getting more and more bombs, which I'm absolutely overjoyed. I see, like, there, look. The boss spawned on top of my dips, and it took, like, a good 10% of its HP just from that damage. And now, obviously, my dips are going to die pretty darn quickly here. But overall, I think that's pretty good going. Now, I was going to use a bomb here, but I, I really don't think it's actually that necessary. Boss is dying pretty darn quickly. There you go. Um, we got a really, really, really good item here as well in Smooth Stone. And I'm going to check the Devil Deal. My health is reasonably good right now. Um, purple Putty is pretty good. Especially with this trinket that we currently have. Yeah, let's take Purple Putty. And we'll go down to Downpour. Or potentially the Boiler or whatever other floor it ends up giving us. Fortunately, we got Dross, which is probably the worst of the versions you can get, I think, in terms of difficulty. But yeah, I think um, overall, good stuff there. Good stuff all around. This guy's going to lob his piss bucket at me any second now, so I've got to be prepared for that. Oh my god, he did a an Omega... Oh, do you know what? This is actually a really frustrating room, because the yellow creep that's created from the piss buckets doesn't dissipate. Like, well, no. I'm wrong. It does. It just takes a very long time to do so, as you just saw. It made that a little more difficult than it had to be. But yeah, good thing about Dross. We do have um, a lot of poop. It's potentially useful for us. Crocodiles go in here. Kind of more annoyed about these things that are slightly difficult to kill. Crocodiles are actually kind of fun enemies. Good, good. We don't have a key for this right now. That's fine. And yeah, as well, when we start getting into like some other types of poop and stuff, that can help us. I really love the fact, by the way, that the um, the boiler floor added new enemies to the um, to the regular dross and downpour. That is such like a great addition. If it's new enemies, like why not use them elsewhere? Why, why not just use them for the boiler? I like that. I'd kind of like to see something similar with the Steven enemies, where some of the unique Steven enemies um, have some var variations that appear on um, some of the other floors. But yeah, with this trinket, 20% chance to gain an additional um, charge on completing a room. We should be able to keep a pretty nice buffer of um, putty HP here. Of, of What's it called? I can't remember the type of HP it's called now. I forget the name. But still, we should be able to keep a pretty decent buffer. And it is one of those odd items that has a five-room charge. They're not super regular. Uh, you don't find them very often, but it's nice to have them.
Beautiful soul heart there. Soul heart's really good, actually, because it, it protects my immoral hearts. Really hoping for key at this point. We're not getting it. But we do have the mirror dimension, which can help us gain some more consumables. Do you know what? Let's do the boss now. Um, we need to obviously save two bombs for... Um, yeah, we'll definitely go like that. I actually like the fact as well that we can cook our bombs really easily and efficiently with this setup. We've got to realize that our um, little leeches here have the opportunity to rebirth. And honestly, I'm just going to get another one of these on you. Makes you so much easier. They, they, they could rebirth, so we've just got to be wary of that. Luckily, a lot of them didn't. Another devil deal and squeezy is a, a big topper on top of this. See what the devil deal holds for us. Um, especially after getting that. Definitely want to take this. I think I think the piano is good, but I think uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it for now. Yeah, I like the fact that you can cook your bombs a little bit. Just going to check in here to see if there's any key in here. Sometimes there is. Unfortunately not. We are actually a little bit close to um, a shop purchase right now as well, which is kind of nice. But obviously, we don't have the key to get into the shop either. We are also now on entirely um, Soul Heart HP. Which is risky, but I think fine. But yeah, I really like pin shot um, for multiple reasons. Mainly is just the fact that it actually gives you um, piercing. Like, it, the fact that it gives like odd shots the chance to pierce is nice. But actually stitching enemies together, most of the time I feel like it's not that impactful. But some enemies, especially segmented bosses, it absolutely demolishes them. And I find that really fun. Yeah, just the piercing alone is, is a, a pretty decent boon for this item. Oh, that was a good hit, sir. I was not expecting that. That was a good hit. Sadly, as I said, still looking for that key. It's not showing itself to us. We have one more room and then our fireplace rooms. To try and get it. Oh. Some enemies rebirthing are really annoying. Enemies like this that have like a specific attack they do when they lose a certain amount of health become more annoying, or like an on-death effect. Become so much more annoying when they rebirth. Luckily, the rebirth enemies do die pretty easily. So we do now have enough to uh, check out thingy here. We, we could probably find a secret room right here. Um, we get ourselves... It's kind of difficult. I'm... I'm just gonna take the range up because I can't. I don't. I don't know if I can place a bomb correctly enough to actually get that to work. It looks like we're gonna miss out on our thingy room here unless the mirror dimension can um, yield us a key. I mean, to be fair, the rooms on Dross are not as difficult overall, just because um, we don't particularly have to worry about. Um, we, should, we didn't have to use a lot of the bombs there, and I could use the flight to get that uh, that tears thing. Oh well. Um, but yeah, we don't have to particularly worry about the wisp enemies that are the, the biggest problem for me when I've uh, when I'm playing as the ghosty boy. Half a soul heart there. These trash bags are kind of nice. Honestly, I'm gonna do the boss. It's a little bit risky, but I'm thinking with our ability to bomb being pretty strong and then piercing as well to um, get through the leeches going to be pretty easy. And it, it indeed was. Get ourselves Foul Gut. Yes. Foul Gut's very good. Very good. Very nice. Health is looking splendid right now. Right now we just want our key piece and an actual key as well. Re like Enemies like that rebirthing. Real annoying. For the, for the most part, though, I think the Rebirth Curse is balanced extremely well. I'm, at the minute, I'm doing more rooms to, to potentially get more keys for the next floor. Um, get other stuff like health. But more importantly, to try and build a little dip army. We get a new trinket here. Chance for rocks replaced by spiked rocks increased to your knockback. That's a very, very strange uh, idea for a trinket. I've got to, got to be honest. I don't really get the relevance between knockback and spiked rocks. Seems odd. Good, good. Yeah, we've got a decent dip army going now so we can head on out. 
go to the next floor. We can just leave the floor in this state, can't we? I suppose the mirror room's right next to the boss. We might as well just walk back through the mirror. No point risking something that I'm unsure on. But yeah, good floor overall. I think we're doing well. Head back in here. Make sure we go down this way this time. And away we go. Okay. Overall, I'm, I'm liking this run. I think we've got some elements that are making it really good. Got a key to go straight in here. I like that. Dude. All of that work. And I didn't even fucking go to the item room on the last floor. I just realized my planetarium chance. All of that work. And I didn't even go to the goddamn item room. I better get a planetarium now that I've, uh, balls that up. But we did just get, um, kidney stone, which can be a little inconvenient, but overall I quite like. Oh, we did get telefrag there. Uh, overall I quite like. It, ca it can be a little inconvenient at times, but overall, yeah, I think it can be really, really strong. Um, lovers, I'll just pop. Yeah, my, my massive stupidity there. I just didn't... I don't know. I completely forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Um, do you know what? Bomb guy. Bomb guy. If I had more bombs, you'd be very useful because I could get bomb upgrades from you. There's that key. My bad. My bad. I mean, the run's fine. It's not as if it's it's going to make a huge difference on the quality of the run overall. It's just a little bit of a shame that my brain forgot. I was just so focused on, like, leaving the floor that didn't even think about it. Big old my bad. Big old oopsie daisy. Now, we don't need to use that active while we have full hearts, because that will replace existing soul and black hearts, which we don't want to do. Uh, actually, I can open both of these. Why not? And we got ourselves the bag of seeds. Now, I am wary of the bag of seeds because it has been fun for us. Um, but I have also had game crashes that I uh, could only attribute to the bag of seeds. So, it's a risky item to take. But at least if we do get a crash, we know exactly what causes it and we can remove the item. Damn it. I need to pick up this bomb, really. Hot potato, hot potato. Back and forth. Yeah, I gotta say, I need to be a little more cautious. And just, just sort of keep an eye on it. I love the way that enemy, like, starts off by jumping out of the, uh, out of the fire there. Is this enemy one that we can't kill until the rest of the enemies are dead? I'm gonna assume that's the case. Seemed to be, yeah. There's that extra key anyways. But yeah, I, I, I like the bag of seeds overall. I think it's a fun item. It must have been added recently to the retribution mod. It can't have been it the whole time. Because I've gone this whole time never seeing it. And then over the past few weeks, I've seen it loads. But it must have been a new addition. Pop in here real quick. Mm. This item is a lot of fun. But, it can be detrimental overall. For example, we have a 21% chance for a planetarium right now. But, that that would be overwritten. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to complete this floor, see if I get a devil deal, and then come back and take it. Because uh, I think overall it's a pretty fun item. It can just it can be an overall negative sometimes. Because you lose out on item rooms, um, potentially. But then again, you can get more devil deals and stuff. It's it's kind of a weird one. It's kind of a weird one. But overall, I think it's a fun item, so I don't want to not take it at all. But I think I'll at least check for my devil deal here first. Okay, we've got some more bombs going. We have Hornfell here. Just got to make sure we keep... Oh, it's, it's red Hornfell as well. Um, well, not red, but orange, the fire base one. And so I need to make sure we've got Kidney Stone ready. And in fact, that was... An incredibly easy kill, and he gave us a ton of bombs too, which I really like. Didn't get a devil deal here. Lipstick plus a soul heart, nice. Um, right, let's go back and grab it. Like I said, it's a bit of a risk. It kind of adds a lot of gambling to the run, um, but it can be pretty good. It's it's one of those one of those items that I think is deserving of quality three, but it does kind of have a caveat. Unfortunate. 
Okay, either way, let's go. So we'll, there's a chance we get a planetarium that ends up not being a planetarium. Is sort of what I'm getting at here. Um, right. Let's just head on down to the next floor. Sadly, we're not. These hearts aren't available on the next floor because otherwise we could throw them in the door and get some reward for it. But sadly, not. So like this, this is this for example. We've already got one here. So this is our cash room. That's instead gonna be. Our treasure room? Yeah, treasure room. Nice. We'll take whatever this is. Yo, listen. Pretty happy with that, especially with the bomb situation we've got going on right now. So we did get an extra treasure room. There, there's an issue. Look, planetarium right there that won't be a planetarium. One thing I do wish that the mod would do is, for example, if it's a planetarium, if it was meant to be a planetarium, it should, especially when it's a special room like a planetarium, it should still have a small chance to be one, um, in my opinion. Um, do this first. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Like, it's really, really a shame to lose a planetarium to uh, to this situation. It'd be it'd be really nice if so, like Devil Deal rooms planetarium still had a small chance to be their original forms. Good old singe. Only thing annoying about this boss, realistically is that he's kind of off-screen for a good amount of time when he does that attack, or jumps in the air. Overall, he's not a particularly hard boss, though. Explosions can't hurt us either, which is nice. But yeah, Glass Eye's lovely here. Um, of these rooms, we probably want to go with... B -b 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 maybe Dice Room? Oh, I hit the wrong one. It's fine. We got some good stuff out of this, actually. Golden Bombs is pretty nice. These rooms are just a bit more of a risk. Got some good bombs. Got a key back. I'm reasonably happy with that payout. Oh, no. Enemies in this room. Okay. Oh, wait. No, apparently I've spawned enemies. Okay, there's, there's some ghosty boys, I see. Oh, come on, ghosts. Where the fuck are you? There you go. <laughs> These enemies are so frustrating. Perfect. With golden bombs, being able to throw them is awesome. Simply the best. All of those. Make sure to destroy these poops, because... The stone-based ones especially. The uh, the dips we get from those have a, quite a hearty exterior. Bad. We've got another room here. So the, we've actually got an error room as one of the rooms available here. Which is a shame because I can't go... The error rooms are very rare. But if I go to the error room, I can't go down to the correct floor. I can't go to the mausoleum, so that's really not ideal. So this is what I mean by like, instead of getting an item room, we're getting yeah, we're getting something that's not really as valuable. I do like the little armies we've got going on right now. That's kind of nice. All been spiky rocks at me. I don't much appreciate that. Extra keys is very nice. Good. I'm trying to check all the rooms here for any extra special rooms. There you go. So I think... I can't remember what that spiky room is. Is that sacrifice room? And that spiky one is sacrifice, maybe? That's curse room. And then we'll do this one. Samson versus greed. But there's no greed. Open that up. Book of Shadows I'm actually going to take. Um, we'll open this up and hope for the best. Sadly, didn't really get any extra keys out of that, which I was hoping for. Not secret room. I, sh I should really blow up these mushrooms. And yeah, I'll, I'll hunt for secret room at, le at least a little bit. There. Not there, is it? It can't be there. There's a poop.
Yeah, keep it moving. Oh, we already found secret room, of course. It's just second secret room we haven't found. My bad, my bad. Right. We should go to this room as well. Uh, uh, this room requires a key, doesn't it? My item room, so it's not ideal. Okay, keep it moving. In here, pop this and then just absolutely wail on him. Yeah. Nice and easy. So this time we got a devil deal that's none of the above. It's it's just the item, it irks me. I, I like it, but I also don't. <laughs> Um, nah, eh, nah, we won't take that. So, we want to go with Dice Room, I think, here. We got five. Uh, five is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, I did just open the door, but we'll take a five room. Why not? To end off the floor. But yeah, we should get extra charges here and there to be able to use our Book of Shadows. So, I'm going to be popping my Book of Shadows pretty much whenever it's available. Because I'm going to be getting extra charges for it reasonably often. There's our boss straight away. Let's take on our boss straight away, shall we? <laughs> They're just like hurting themselves constantly on all of our uh, dippy friends. Oh, kidney stone makes you throw the bombs immediately. Whoops. Oh, dude. Having kind of a hard time killing these guys right now. And we get ourselves White Rose. Had to trade a Burn Heart away there, but that's whatever. It's fine. Having Wisp is actually quite nice because um, we're able to push right up against enemies. So here we've got a shop. Um, that could be something else. Let's have a little look-see. So, we actually got a devil deal here, I think that is. Devil deal. And for that pleasure, we get brimstone. And we get money equals power. Honestly, our health right now is really not very good. Um, in the way that we've got a lot and a lot of um, hearts that can fall right off of us pretty quick. But, yeah, we just, did just get Brimstone. Pretty happy with that. See, that's that's the trade-off. You miss out on some stuff, but you could, if you get lucky, get even better elsewhere. So, it's not all bad. You've got to, you've got to sort of realise it's a give and a take. So, here we've got... Uh, th this is now a, sh uh, a shop... Let's try and get the shot before we run out of invincibility. Ah, I missed it. I went into the actual curse room. Not what I wanted to do. I was slightly too far away from the door then, I think. Right. Let's get going. I'll bomb this. Why not? What? Why is that happening? I don't have, um, I don't have, what they're called, sad bombs. Is that just a quirk of throwing bombs? If it is, I'm definitely down for it. Um, we got a library here. I'm actually going to take the library, you know. Um, let's get in front of it. Damn it. Unfortunately, not really what I was hoping for. However, this book, I think, is better off for us because... It gives us scaling damage. Uh, really shouldn't have used it on this floor, to be honest. It gives us a scaling damage bonus that we can keep adding to over the course of the floor. Um, buy both of these. Sadly, not either. Shame. I'm not going to waste any more. Um, that we can scale over the course of the floor. And, of course, if we're getting more charges, that becomes more valuable. So, yeah, if I throw this, has this got brimstone now? Okay, so that's just a quirk of red bombs that I didn't know about. That's... Pretty goddamn useful for us, I'll be honest. Pretty goddamn useful. We're going to be able to do some good stuff with that if we can stack up our bombs for the boss. Got an XL floor here. I'm um, actually not too uh, displeased with that. That's fine by me. But yeah, I'm hoping we can get up to like 20 or so bombs before we fight the beast. 
be a little careful here. I want that, but I don't have the health for it right now. Because uh, ba basically, if I lose this black heart, the next hit I take, I'm going to lose all of my, um, what's it called, hearts. Oh, I'm looking for secret room. Dude, I've got your listen. You fool. I completely forgot I had your listen. My bad. Was looking, bombing things that I had no reason to bomb, essentially. So, here we do have a treasure room. Got into the treasure room nice and easy. I don't know if large it does much for us. I'm going to take the the, la uh, the latter. Sadly, not not great there, but we could get conjoined eventually, and that's not bad with Brimstone. This used to be an arcade, and we can turn it into an arcade or one of these rooms. We'll go into this one. We need a lot of keys. We need a lot of keys. It's been a stopping point for us for a little while now. Oh, I was like, what's left? There's a fucking dude up here that got bombed. And then here, not much there I want to take, to be honest. I don't think I'm even going to bother. I suppose I could do the dice room, but the only one I'd really care about is a five room, and I'm really unlikely to get a five room again. Just looking for more keys. Money is good too, because we've got um, money equals power. But you see what I mean about my dips? I've really created a quite a quite a hefty dip army at this point. Extra bomb. Well, I can't lift these out the ground with my brimstone beams. That's kind of unfortunate. That makes this item a lot weaker. Yeah. Keep moving along. And here we've got a bedroom. Um, again, though, not great for keys. Mm. We've, we've only got one familiar. As well as our wisps. Our wisps do count. Uh, in terms of our shots... I don't think they'd adopt Brimstone, would they? Let, let's just see. They adopt our, adopt our Sun Bond shots. That's it. Unfortunately, I don't I don't think at this state that's really that worthwhile to us. I think our extra charges could potentially be a lot more valuable, so I'll take them along with us. Yeah, we need a lot more uh, keys, really. I'll take a risk. I'll take this. I need the keys. Just put my health at risk, as I said, but should be okay. And here we, here we go, we got Angel Deal here. Do I have to kill this thing? By the looks of it, that's a yes. Get another key here. This is a curse room, so we are going to have to lose some HP to go in here. But clearly worthwhile, especially considering we got double act of contrition, which is... Extra eternal hearts and tears up. And the great thing is, once you go into a cash room, you don't have to pay to get out of it. Quite nice. Angel rooms, I think, are one of the rarest rooms. Angel rooms and error rooms, I think, are the rarest rooms. Obviously, destroying these for the black hearts, but also for our demon dips. They're pretty darn useful. Good old demon dips. Kind of create a bit of on-screen clutter, I'll admit. But overall, they're pretty useful. Our fire rate is wicked fast right now. I guess I'll carry this for a potential devil deal steal. Nugget. Nugget's an interesting one. Because it's a big damage boost. It does give us a tears down, though. I, I kind of want to take it to see if it works with Brimstone. I realize we're going to lose damage for doing this. There we go, we got it. 
Now we have to bomb the machine. Oh, fuck. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. We're going to get a big tears down for this, but... We didn't get any tears down for it. Okay. It's a freebie. How do I leave? There you go. I don't actually know if this will work, though. I don't know if it'll do anything. It does. Okay, it does, it does do something. It only creates the crack at our location, which honestly isn't that valuable. But, um, eh, not bad. Not bad. It destroys rocks in our location, which is actually kind of good, but it only does it in rooms with combat. It keeps enemies away from us. I kind of, I think that's pretty good. It'd be nice if it did, it landed on the location where it hits a wall sort of thing. Yeah. I will definitely take this. Oh, we got Bleeding Heart. Inflict. This is really good. Really, really good. Um, basically, gives us a chance to charm. Uh, charmed enemies now fire our tears out of them. Um... Which, honestly, is not going to be super powerful because we are killing enemies before uh, the charm really takes effect. But overall, I think it's pretty good. And it gave us a heart as well, which I'm pretty happy about. Overall, some good stuff. Dude, that damage is stacking up lovely with this book. I mean, look at the speed at which we're killing stuff right now. Real nice. I do have some red chests here as well, which I should probably... Try to grab. Sadly, not what I was looking for. <sighs> really? I was really hoping for soul hearts. Pill. Golden pill there. Shot speed up on a ranger. That was it. Okay, I think I've reached the maximum on my uh, active now by the looks of it. It didn't give me any damage that time around. Did get another room here. We got treasure room as one of them. Nice. Dry baby. Yeah, I'll take dry baby. Probably would have been better off with that other thing there, but I think Dry Baby's good. Right. And we'll just go and do our bosses now. Actually, wait, no, 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 no. Before we do our bosses, we've got a room back over there full of golden chests to open, right? We might as well at least go and utilize that first. And we have two rooms we haven't entered, but I'm pretty sure both of those rooms I'm not bothered about entering, so... Ah, oh, yeah, we got loads of keys back as well. And we got an Ancient Recall, which could be good. Fortunately, it was not. Right, I'll quickly check my item room here, because I genuinely cannot remember what the uh, what the role was on this. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not that arsed. Right, cool. We did actually get two item rooms this floor, which is nice. We missed out on a shop. We also got... Um, uh, angel deal as well. So overall, pretty decent haul. And our uh, our bomb count is getting up to that magic 20 that I was talking about for the boss fight. So I'm pretty happy with that too. Nice. Quick, quick easy kill there. Really nice for the gulp. Plus two soul hearts. Very good overall. Nice. If I get close and do the damage with the nugget, it's pretty good. Grab that. I really like the, the mod, by the way, that I use that makes this I don't have to do the second knife piece chase. Because it comes with an actually pretty decent trade-off. Like, um, because it means I don't have to do the mother chase. Mainly because I, I, I rarely get hit on it anymore and I just find it tedious and slow. Also, it lags in modded. But now, it's kind of interesting because, um... Actually, I don't get the, the, the knife to deal damage. Like, I can't... Oh, we've got a devil deal and an angel deal here. I mean, obviously, angel is preferred. 
That's really rare. And, oh. Dude. That's so goddamn good. If we take a look at what that does. Bombs deal double damage from uh, to, to bosses, basically. Plus the stuff that we've got going on already. We're going to be using bombs very heavily on the mother fight. Um, I'm hoping we can get even more bombs, like, before the fight starts. I mean, getting to 20 seems definitely like it's very likely now, but getting even higher than that, getting to, like, 25 or 30, would be really awesome. I'm pretty happy with how things are going right now. Ooh, I've just noticed something kind of interesting. So, with this setup, what I can do is I can, like, walk into this room here, for example, and then fire a brimstone, and then just walk out, because I, I destroy the door. So, if I need a quick escape, just firing a brimstone as soon as I enter, then walking backwards is actually a pretty good tactic. I like seeing a room I really don't want to do. This book is either not working or, like, bugged. I don't know. It's not. It, it gives me plus one damage the first time I use it. And it's supposed to give me damage for every subsequent use. And it's not... It's definitely not giving me that right now. It's weird. I mean, we've got more than enough damage to be happy, but... It's just weird is all. Might be an anti-synergy of something that I have. Like, for example, let's just bomb this guy and see how it does. Yeah. Great damage. We got Perfection. Wasn't expecting that. We got an Angel Deal here that isn't an Angel Deal. We'll take Pesci. We'll take the Shop, I think. Uh, unfortunately, really not very valuable. Okay, it, it did work the second time round. But yeah, not a very valuable Shop there. But we got an Angel Deal area on the floor, so I'm reasonably happy. Probably worth it to do extra explora exploration to look for more special rooms, to be honest, but ain't nobody got time for that. Definitely want the money. Is there some sort of cap on my damage from an item that I have? Because I just picked up money for money equals power and gained no damage. There must be some sort of weird cap to my damage, and that's what's affecting the book as well, maybe. I'm... Do you know what? I'm just going to drop that at this point. I'm pretty curious about what's what's causing that. I'm, I'm really unsure. If anyone knows and can see clearly what's uh, potentially causing that issue, please do let me know, because it must be an item I have, right? See, that worked this time. Good. Strange quirk of the run, I guess. So, uh, we got a black heart there as well. Health is coming hot and fast as well. We've been getting loads of HP here. See, like I should be getting, mo I should be getting um, damage right here. It also is kind of wigging me out that my damage is exactly 15. I'm potentially thinking it's some sort of bug to do with Nugget. Like, watch, I won't get damage here. Use my book. Got gained no damage. But yeah, the fact that it's, I think. So what what I think is happening. Is for some reason... Yeah, okay. I know for a fact what's happening now. For some reason, I'm only gaining damage in intervals of exactly one. Because if you saw right then, I picked up a penny and it increased my damage by an entire one damage. Which isn't at all how money equal power works. But if I gain one damage as a total from the amount of money I've picked up and it totals up to one, then it adds it. Which is very confusing and I'm really not sure why it's doing it. I'll be honest. But it is, and we have to deal with that fact. So, like, this next usage of my book will give me exactly one damage, because the last one didn't give me any. So, essentially, the last book usage might have given me 0 0.66 damage. This one might be give me 0 0.5 something, and then that will give me, on my stats, plus one damage. Okay, it didn't quite give me plus one there, but the next usage will give me plus one. It must be something to do with Nugget, right? It's the only other thing I can think of that affects my damage. That's the magic 20. That's what I was looking for. Hey, open the secret room by accident. Echo chamber.
I wonder if that counts towards Echo Chamber, if it's going to give me range for each card I use now. I'm just probably trying to get to that plus one damage threshold now. Should be coming pretty shortly, actually. Should go up to 18 damage. A weird quirk, definitely. Come on, 18 damage. You've got to be close, right? There it is. Very weird. So let, let's see if this gives me plus one range. I should use a bomb by accident, my bad. It did give me plus one range, so they do count. That's kind of crazy with Echo Chamber. And here, not worth trading HP away. Although, do we have a Soul Heart in a previous room? We do, but it's quite far back. I don't really want to trek back for that, I'll be honest. That whale is such a cool enemy. Okay, so we're going to stick with what we've got. We're good health, good bombs. Echo Chamber. Interesting, but way too late to make it valuable. We're going to be using a lot of bombs. Oh no, perfection, what will I ever do? But yeah, being able to throw the bombs so easily at the boss makes them so much more valuable. Oh my god, yeah, that's doing so much damage. And then the Brimstone is just a good bit of damage as well. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. This is like going to be a really, really quick mother kill. God damn, these bombs just annihilated her. That was awesome. That was like a really, really fun run, I've got to say. A really, really fun run. But there you go, there's Mother done. Nice, got Bloody Gust, lovely item. And yeah, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.